This may come as a surprise to you, but the foods that you're eating every single day are destroying your immune system. Hey, Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Zorowski, and oftentimes we're taught to believe that our immune system is what it is. We have no control over it, whether we get sick, whether we stay healthy, whether we get a virus, a bacterial infection, or any other thing that comes our direction. Now, we can do so many things to boost our immune function contrary to popular belief. And it all starts with the decisions that you're making every single day. Let's take a look at the top foods that are going to have a negative impact on your immune system. And let's go ahead and start with the processed meats. Okay, processed meats, meats that are coming in packaging and a lot of the meats that you're getting from fast food restaurants, meats that are like hot dogs and salamis and stuff like that. These meats have something called synthetic nitrates in them. These synthetic nitrates are hard on the gut and also they drive an inflammatory process in the body, which can weaken our immune system. So therefore, that's the first food that we want to avoid at all costs. Now, the next food on our list is going to be artificial sweeteners. Now, artificial sweeteners like sucralose and aspartame, what these can do is actually alter the bacteria in the gut. Why is this important if something that we're consuming is altering the bacteria in our gut? Well, simply because it is our immune system. Our gut is our immune system. It's where about 80% of our immune system lies. So therefore, if our gut is unhealthy, our immune system is also going to be not functioning at full capacity. So therefore, we wanna make sure that we're avoiding artificial sweeteners. Look, if you're somebody who's trying to avoid sugar because maybe you have insulin resistance, you have blood sugar instability, metabolic issues, Issues, then look for things like stevia and monk fruit, things such as xylitol, erythritol, or even allulose. These are better options than going with these artificial sweeteners that are more chemically based sweeteners. Now let's talk about one of the obvious ones you should avoid, and that's going to be sugar, okay? And it's because the more sugar you consume, the worse off your immune system is. It is going to directly deplete the ability of the immune system to function properly. And unfortunately, on average, everybody's consuming over 125 pounds of sugar per year, and this is going to have a direct correlation as to why people are so sick today, okay? A lot of people say, Dr. Zorowski, it's not necessary for everybody to go sugar-free. The truth is, it's not, but you should also be focused on eating healthier versions of sugar found in nature like honey, and you shouldn't be eating any sugar in large amounts. But like I said before, on average, the overconsumption of sugar is killing individuals daily. Okay, if we want our immune system work to work well, we have to make sure we cut back on sugar. And going sugar-free would be the most ideal thing that you could do for your immune system. Now let's talk about food additives, okay? When we look at food additives, they are in almost everything. And I'm talking lab-made synthetic ingredients that literally are not real food, they're chemicals. So whether it's artificial flavors, artificial colorings, or even preservatives, these all drive inflammation in our bodies, in our gastrointestinal systems, and hurt the overall bacteria within our gut, which we would refer to as the microbiome. They hurt our microbiome and therefore cause instability in our immune system. So we wanna make sure we're avoiding this stuff, right? We don't need all these preservatives. I mean, when your food that is being made in a restaurant can last 10 years without ever actually molding and, and, and degenerating, well, then there's something wrong with that. We aren't trying to preserve our bodies like that right now. We wanna make sure that we avoid preservatives. Now let's talk about refined carbohydrates, okay? Now, refined carbohydrates are not necessary for your body to function, okay? This is once again against popular belief. But you know what? Oftentimes, when you want to stay healthy and live a good, fulfilling quality of life, well, then what you wanna do is avoid what the average person is doing, right? Because the average person is riddled with cancer and disease and inflammatory issues, autoimmune issues, since we're talking about the immune system, autoimmune issues that is wreaking havoc on their body. The excessive consumption of refined carbohydrates is going to cause your immune system to not work as it should. Once again, as we look at so many people facing problems with the ability to fight off viruses, bacteria infections in all these different pathogens that come your way, we wanna make sure that we're doing everything we can to boost your immune system. Now let's look at seed oils, also known as vegetable oils, okay? Now this is another thing that's very harsh on the immune system because what it does is it raises your omega-6 levels. When you raise your omega-6 levels, it is very pro-inflammatory in the body. To give you one of the simplest examples is oftentimes you hear that you should consume omega-3s. And the only reason that you have to consume omega-3s, like most people are, is simply because you're over-consuming omega-3s 
omega-6s, which is a very pro-inflammatory problem for the body. So when you boost up your omega-3s, it helps balance everything out. But the ideal thing to do isn't just to start consuming more and more omega-3s, it's actually to consume less omega-6s because these different oils cause an inflammatory state in the body simply because they lead to lipid peroxidation. Lipid peroxidation is a breakdown of the cell wall. And when this is happening, it drives a massive inflammatory state in every cell of the body. And this eventually is going to make its way upstream all the way to your immune system to where no longer are you able to actually keep yourself healthy and fight off pathogens. Let's look at a few different oils to avoid. We wanna make sure we avoid soybean oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, peanut oil, and also safflower oil. These oils will all activate and promote pro-inflammatory proteins, which will deplete your immune system. We also wanna make sure that we are avoiding fried foods. Pretty much any of the different restaurant foods that you're gonna get out there are going to be fried in a very inexpensive vegetable or seed oil, and this is also highly inflammatory towards the body. So if we start avoiding these foods, we're gonna be in a really good place. Now, if you wanna put a little bit of extra effort into boosting your immune system up and avoiding the different things that crush it, one of the things that we can do is we can and make sure that we're exercising daily, okay? Exercise is phenomenal for your immune health. So if we exercise, we even take some different vitamins like vitamin D and quercetin and zinc and vitamin C, right? All of these are really good. And if you're looking for a good source, I'll put a link into the description of a vitamin packet that I take whenever I'm starting to feel that I'm getting a little bit sick. So these are the top things that you can start doing today. Once again, you're in control of your immune system, nobody else, right? And the things that you're doing every day are the best ways to boost your immune system. The choices you're making that are going to make your immune system thrive are the ones that you can make sure that you're putting that extra effort in every day to get control of your life. Don't think that it's a, at random chance whether you get sick or not. It is through your choices. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like this one over here.